Hi, welcome back to the breadboard. In this video, we are going to look at setting up a Wi-Fi adapter on a Raspberry Pi Model 2. Now, that might not sound very uh, interesting, but we're going to be doing it under Windows 10 for IoT. And there have been issues in the past trying to find Wi-Fi adapters uh, that will actually work with Windows 10 for IoT on the Raspberry Pi. And so what I've done is I've bought the official Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi adapter from the Pi Hut, which is... Uh, this one right here that you can see, um, six pounds from the UK. I think it ended up being about $10 by the time I got it to Canada. And um, this is the one that I'm going to use. It's supposed to be fully supported under Windows 10 for IoT, as well, of course, under Raspbian, et cetera, et cetera, on the Raspberry Pi 2. So in the previous video, we created an SD card and we booted up and used an HDMI monitor to look at that and verify that everything is working correctly for the Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to do here is take that exact image as we left it off from the previous video. I haven't done anything with it and what I'm going to do is leave it powered up. But I will plug in the official Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi adapter and unplug the wired network adapter and then we'll go through the uh, configuration. First of all, we'll verify that it even sees the Wi-Fi adapter and then how to configure it. This is going to be a nice, brief, fairly straightforward video, I hope, that will uh, document the process for you and show you what you need to do to get it up and running on your network. So let's get to it. I'm going to also um, record the Pi screen on the HDMI monitor. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to capture that with my other camera because I don't have the ability to capture an HDMI feed coming from something else right now, only record a screen image or something. Uh, the one I'm using right now is capturing directly from my PC screen, which I do have software to do. Uh, anyway, so uh, let me just power that up and we will get going. All right, so as you can see here, we've got no Wi-Fi adapters yet. I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, we do have the LAN port, of course, currently running on uh, IP address 1.218. And if you look up on the Pi screen, that's confirmed up there too, where it tells us it's got the Ethernet adapter, but there are no Wi-Fi. So just to confirm that, just the Ethernet IP4 address, no Wi-Fi adapters detected and no Wi-Fi is seen. So now I'm going to plug in the Wi-Fi adapter and see how quickly it identifies and configures it. So out of curiosity, I'm going to unplug the network adapter as well. So of course the web page is not going to work, but what I want to see is, is if all the drivers are loaded already on the SD card and it's not going out to the network to get anything. So plugging it in now. You can see the network on the Pi has already disappeared. Done. So it sees the Wi-Fi dongle. Um, hasn't configured anything. Let me go and see if it sees any networks up here. So we'll go to the Wi-Fi. And we'll just leave it for a few seconds to see if it actually picks up on any. Or maybe I'll just hit refresh and see if it finds any up oh, there you go so less than 10 seconds and it's got my networks so if I just click on the Oaks Clan network and connect to it I need to give it a key okay and say next now I'm doing this right on the Pi as you can see there was no um, connectivity to the internet because the um, hardwired Ethernet was unplugged so this is purely on the Wi-Fi so I can't reach it until I've given it a connection um, and this, as you can see, if this was powered up first time from a brand new SD card and you didn't have a hardwired connection, you can still configure the Wi-Fi so that you can get things going. So we'll just hit next. That should connect if I've got my password correct. And it looks like it has. If I go back to the main screen now, and there we have it. It's telling me the network is connected. It's got my IP address. It's different to what it was before. It's now 234. And if we go to the um, IoT Core Watcher, you can see that the new one now is here. Um, 234 showed up as being online. The old one is still there just because it remembered it, even though I've unplugged it. If I did a refresh here, it'll probably lose them. Yeah, I need to give it time to come back. Anyway, I know it's online, so I'm just going to go to this one. 
right click and say web browse here and see if it picks up and there we go um, go down to networking and quite happily sees the Oaks Clan network it's connected it's not the strongest one I've got here but it's on channel one and uh, what more could you ask for now the Ethernet as you can see here has got no uh, IP address at all, but the Broadcom adapter does have one. Now, if I just plug in the Ethernet cable again right now, I'm going to do it right this minute. Now, it'll probably very quickly, if I just do a refresh, there, it's shown up with the original address. And as you can see, it's also now shown up on the Pi screen. We've got the Ethernet connection with its IP address, and we have the Oaks Clan network with its IP address. So it's actually now dual homed. And that's pretty much it for configuring the Wi-Fi adapter. You just plug it in. It already had the drivers available to it. It took a matter of uh, under 10 seconds to get up and running. Um, and now we're back online again. I'll just disconnect the uh, Ethernet hardwired one again port and just run on the Wi-Fi. You can see it just flipped it off there. So it's quite happily working plug and play. Um, so I don't know what else I can show you. Um, it just works nicely. Uh, I th oh, I, I guess if I go in here, um, you can, you know, it's, it's identifying right here the different types of security. Anyway, so I told you it would be short and sweet and uh, probably a total of about 10 minutes. And that's literally the time it took to do this. So if you're using one of the approved Wi-Fi adapters and there's three or four of them, I'll provide the link. Um, let me just put it up on the page here and I'll show you. Okay, so I've just brought up the web page. This is, uh, I just Googled Raspberry Pi Windows 10 IoT hardware, and uh, one of the links was for the hardware compatibility list. So if we go down here under USB devices and go into Wi Fi dongles, the one that I'm using is the official Raspberry Pi Wi Fi dongle on the top of the list, and you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six more Wi Fi adapters that are on this list. So we've got the Airlink Wireless, a Panda PAU06. Haven't heard of that, but anyway. Uh, TP-Link and NetDyne USB adapter and two Realtecs. I think these NetDyne and the Panda are um, newly added to the list. So anyway, the list is growing. If you've got any one of these adapters, you should be able to do what I did and just plug it in and go. Uh, anyway, that completes basically the um, video and uh, shows you how easy it is to configure the Wi-Fi. Literally plug it in, give it your, or wait for it to discover your SID, and connect. Now I think, I haven't seen anywhere where it will let you add your own SID. It only lets you add the key. So if you're not broadcasting the SSID that it picks up on, then you probably need to turn it on just at least to configure the Wi-Fi adapter. Once you've done that, you may be able to turn it off. Um, we'll experiment on another video at some time in the future, maybe. So that completes it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, then don't. But hopefully you found that useful. And just as a confirmation at minimum that it's easy to do and you can get the Pi up and running without a hardwired Ethernet connection. See you next time.